If you have a diesel tow vehicle or motorhome and live in the northern climates, you know about the need to use an engine heater when it is cold outside. Those of you that have snowy winters know that it can be hard to start your diesel powered vehicle in the winter time. Where I live in the upper Midwest, we can see below zero temperatures maybe 15 to 20 nights during the winter. My vehicle came with a factory installed engine coolant heater and the owner's manual suggests plugging in the heater whenever the temperature dips below zero degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, the one time I did not do that, the truck would not start until I plugged in the heater for a couple hours. Unfortunately, the plug for the engine block heater is quite short and I have to open the hood every time I want to plug it in. In the six years I have owned the truck, I have been meaning to extend the plug so I can reach it without popping the hood open. But after six years, I have to say it's been a low priority. So here's my video tip. I came up with a scheme so that I could easily turn the heater on or off from the house so that I do not have to go outside each time I want to do that. I bought an inexpensive wireless AC switch which allows me to turn the heater on or off from inside the warm house. I also purchased a short flat extension cable so that it would lay under the hood easier, although I still leave the hood popped open a bit. Next summer though, I intend to route that flat cable so that I can reach behind the grill and not open the hood. As well, I purchased a lighted indicator so that I could confirm when the heater is on or off. This is an inexpensive solution, and I will put links to the components I used in the description. And then to turn the heater on and off, I just have this remote control. And it just plugs in, and it has two outlets, and also a wireless remote. And it's pretty straightforward. You just turn it on and off, or you can turn it on and off without the remote. I did talk to a person recently that had a GMC vehicle similar to mine, although it was a couple years newer. They told me that there was a recall on the block heaters, but I have not seen any evidence of that for my year, so I don't know if the newer trucks still come with the heaters or not. I would imagine they would have to. Visit rv-project.com.